We had in mind last year when uh, World Wood Day 2020 was cancelled, we intended to do some kind of World Wood Day concert. Then the lockdown in Switzerland kicked in. So we uh, intended to make some sort of film of a performance. We contacted the Swiss wood carving school to do the filming at their, at their place. But then the lockdown uh, was tightened and we no longer possible for us to meet the, the three Alphorn players. So everyone just filmed where he's at his home or outside next to my home. Uh, we filmed the solo performances that we uh, put up on YouTube. So when 2021 came around and it was obvious that World Wood Day would be virtual. We again uh, agreed to produce some kind of, of video, some kind of performance to participate, to, to present something, to celebrate the World Wood Day. And this time we, we organized, to we met at this wood construction um, company to have a nice background with a lot of wood. We contacted uh, our friend Martin Bill, who is a wood carver. Um, he also came and brought his uh, sculptures to add to this uh, scenery to stress the cultural message of World Wood Day. And we produced those uh, four tunes that we uh, prepared for this for this event. If uh, I just uh, sort out the four tunes that we uh, have a video a video of, one is Sami's composition as Yutzi from Pintel. Pintel is a small hill next to the house of Sami, and Yutzi Yutz is the the Swiss way of yodeling. Uh, singing without words. So this melody is um, in the style of the, the Swiss yodeling, but he arranged it so we can play it on the Alphorns as a tribute to where he, where he lives. Another composition of Sami's is Things You Find in Alphorns. Here we start out with percussion elements. We kind of, you know, we scratch and we, we knock on the horns. We, we produce percussive sounds, which is not the usual way that traditional Alphorn players use their instruments. But as we are always trying to find new ways of expressing ourselves musically, uh, I think this title is very appropriate, Things You Find in Alphorns. Then there is the title um, Elephant's Terrace with the subtitle Angkor Revisited. This is a composition of mine and it is inspired by uh, our visit to Angkor when we were at World Wood Day in Cambodia. Um, we were at Angkor twice. First, there was a guided tour offered by uh, World Wood Day to the participants. And what even impressed me more was when we went back to plant the trees, the tree planting event. And when we went back, we, we again passed this uh, elephant's terrace, which is a, a stone wall full of carvings of elephants. So um, reminiscing about this uh, World Wood Day in Cambodia and this visit of, of uh, Angkor was the inspiration for this composition. And finally, then there's the last composition which has a direct connection to World Wood Day, this uh, Chanson du Berger Riandet which is French and means the song of the 
Rwandan Shepherd. This was a melody taught to me by a, a woodcarver from Rwanda, Africa. His name is Maxon and uh, we met on site at, at CM Reap and he had a beautiful voice and he he just sang me this melody and I told him, hey, I want to try to convert this melody into an Alphorn tune. And that was my intention. And then I tried to do this. I composed this, this tune, um, starting out with the original melody by Maxon and then uh, adding some uh, some section where where it's really taking off in a african rhythmic uh, way <laughs> 